excited to go down there and cheer on the team. Let's go, let's beat Tulsa. A lively crowd for a special occasion. The Old Dominion University band, the cheerleaders, even fans on either side of the line of football players leaving the L.R. Hall Sports Complex Thursday morning. The ODU Monarchs boarding buses bound for Myrtle Beach. It was a moment John Harkins and his grandson would not miss. Well, it's good for the program and everybody, they get to play in front of a big crowd, ESPN, so it should be great. The Myrtle Beach Bowl, just the second bowl in program history. Only the Bahamas Bowl came before. It was five years ago and out of the country. So this is a big deal. Not only for the team, but for the people cheering for them. What are you most looking forward to, anybody? I mean, honestly cheering, <laughs> being <laughs> there. I, exactly, the experience and everything. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be there, be on the field and everything. This result, not a certainty by any means, even a few weeks ago. After starting the season just one and six, the Monarchs had to win their last five games in a row for a bull bid. Joshua Sissel, a senior sousaphone in the marching band, excited at the chance to see a winning season in person on Monday. I've been here for four years and a lot of us have been together and it's exciting to have that one last chance to have a lot of fun with everyone around us and again like in Myrtle Beach is a great venue so it'll be a lot of fun. Now whether you can make it to the game or not there's still plenty of opportunity to support. Check out this t-shirt official Myrtle Beach Bowl ODU merch. Where can people get this? At the University Village Bookstore tomorrow or shopodu.com. We'll put that link on our website WTKR.com just find and click on this story. We're here in Norfolk. I'm Anthony Sabella for News 3.